Okay, I'm back. Now, I've had a request to do some down and dirty uh, math, specifically geometry. Uh, seems like some people are going to be writing a test this week and uh, they need to know what's what. Uh, unfortunately, this is Vancouver. Well, fortunately, this is Vancouver, but unfortunately, this is the fall in Vancouver. So it rains a lot here. I haven't had a chance to go outside and uh, find any fresh walls uh, to do some math on. So we're going to use a back of a ping pong table uh, as a chalkboard to um, lay out all the work and just talk about it real quick, okay? Um, one thing uh, to keep in mind is uh, mathematics is a language, but it's broken up into different segments, okay? Uh, you have algebra, you have calculus, you have statistics, and it just goes on from there. But one of the most important aspects of mathematics and one of the first uh, areas that uh, we start talking about with geometry uh, since we live in the world, it's a three-dimensional world, um, one of the first things that we wanted to do was to understand how things were laid out, uh, how to make things. And all of that goes into geometry. So, a long time ago, the, you know, before calculus uh, began, before uh, um, God, differential equations began, before a lot of uh, different branches of mathematics started out, um, Mathematicians were specifically talking about geometry. Um, ast astronomy was one a huge part of uh, how geometry was developed because we were trying to understand our place in the universe, how things, uh, you know, rotated. Um, at nighttime, people would look at, look up in the sky and they would, they would track stars going across. Or they would see uh, the sun going across the horizon and the moon coming around. So they tried to understand what, uh, how everything was laid out. So. Uh, and, and the only way they could have done that is to, you know, draw the things, draw the patterns, draw the, um, the orbit of uh, the sun, the moon, the stars, how they rotated, and try to grasp uh, how, how everything worked, okay? So, geometry was one of the first branches of mathematics uh, that we got into to understand uh, our place in the universe and for us to be able to make things, uh, homes, shelters, um, just anything, the wheel, you know, they had to come up with the concept of a wheel and actually make it round. Uh, so keep that in mind when we're going through this stuff. Uh, what we're going to start doing is start with the basics, uh, which is basically trigonometry. Now, trigonometry is a branch of geometry, but it specifically deals with objects that have three sides um, and basically that's triangles trigonometry triangles so whenever you hear the word trigonometry or triangles uh, keep in mind that you're thinking about or you're dealing with things that have three sides to them okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out a right angle triangle uh, and uh, um, put in some of the functions associated with the right angle triangle and we'll talk about it a little bit further now we're specifically going to talk about a right angle triangle, but there are different types of triangles. Uh, there's a scaling triangle, there's an equilateral triangle, and uh, um, uh, isosceles triangle. Now, scaling triangles are triangles that don't have any equal sides. Isosceles triangles are triangles that have two equal sides. Equilateral triangles are triangles that have all the sides equal. Uh, but right angle triangles is the one that we're really concerned about because right angle triangles uh, branches, is off, branches off to uh, different segments of mathematics as well and it's the most powerful, it's the, it's the one that contains everything and a lot of functions that we can deal with, okay? So I'm going to lay this stuff out and uh, we'll talk about it as soon as it's done, okay? We'll see where it goes.